Well, the Modi government's promise of growth and development are under threat as of now because of the crisis that is not just in the Indian government's control. Last evening's news of Barack Obama's action in Iraq has also set the oil prices to rise as high as $120 per barrel for several months because of, uh, because of the infighting in Iraq, potentially driving a hole of at least 200 billion rupees. Well, Narendra Modi won last month's general election by a landslide with promises of faster economic growth and new jobs, tapping into voter anger over India's longest slowdown in a quarter of a century. Ahead of his maiden budget next month, Finance Minister Arun Jaitley is grappling with a food inflation scare and now faces the risk of higher oil prices that could swell the government's subsidy bill. The general opinion is that if oil prices remain high, even for three to four months, around $120 a barrel, it could have a significant impact on the fiscal deficit and economic growth, something that would threaten the deficit target of 4.1% of the gross domestic product inherited from the UPA government. What's happening in Iraq affects each and every one of us today because our oil prices go up, our inflation goes up and it affects the poorest person everywhere. So the actions of nearly six and a half billion people on this world affect each other. Iraq se hum bhari matra mein tel mangate hain. Humne pichle saal 20 billion dollar ka tel Iraq se ayat kiya. Aur agar tel ki jo kiemat hai, wo badhti hai, kyunki tel ek aisi chiz hai jiski global pricing hoti hai. हालात इराक में खराब हुए लेकिन अर्जेंटीना में कोई रहता हो या भारत में रहता हो जापान में रहता हो तेल की कीमत सबके लिए बढ़ जाती है क्योंकि ये ग्लोबल कमोडिटी है तो अब जिस हिसाब से वहां पे युद्ध का माहौल बना हुआ है और हमने देखा है कि जो ब्रेंट उसकी कीमत लगातार बढ़ के लगभग 114 के पास पहुंच गई है और 115 की ओर बढ़ रही है और ऐसा लगता है कि शायद और आगे जाएगी तो अगर इस तरह से बढ़ती है तो हमारा जो बजट है जो हमारा इंपोर्ट बिल है तो जाहिर है बढ़ जाएगा 